Hello everyone, it's Gary Halican here, and I know I haven't had a uh, figure review in quite a while, but I'm back now with a deep clearance review. Um, as expected, the Marvel Legends Eternals figures finally went on very deep clearance at my local GameStop. So, if you just have a little patience, you too can own the characters no one likes for very little money. Um, my collection is largely made up of clearance figures of characters most people don't like. So you can go to your local GameStop and look for these as well, and you'll see they've got about five different price stickers on them as they've been marked down over the years. Uh, well, over the past six months, I guess, not over the years. These would have come out um, fall of 21 sometime, right? Somewhere around there. Um, or was it or was Eternals the year before? I don't know. They haven't been out that long. Um, anyway, though, I do have here the two Eternals that I did like from the movie. We've got Makari here, which I actually sort of liked that character, and Cersei here, which I just uh, liked how her outfit looked. So um, we'll see what we get with these figures, see if they're any good. As for packaging, it's your typical Marvel Legends packaging. It's got uh, pictures of the character that don't look very much like the actor. I don't know if that's me. Has anyone else noticed that? That the uh, pictures on the modern recent Marvel Legends figures don't look much like the actors are supposed to be. For instance, I recently got the uh, Wen Wu figure here, and uh, yeah, that likeness just isn't doing it for me. The figure actually looks more like Tony Lung than that picture does. Whereas, just a couple years ago, the uh, Marvel Legends Captain Marvel just used a regular photo of Brie Larson that's been on lots of different... Uh, promotional materials and so forth. So, I don't know, these new art artist renderings on the newer Marvel Legends don't really look like the actors to me. But other than that, packaging is the same as normal. You get the logo on the top, little blurb about them on the back, same as you're uh, used to seeing with Marvel Legends. All right, we'll get them out and see what we think. Okay, so here are Makari and Cersei out of their packages and uh, I know my lighting's probably not the best, but I'll bring them a little closer to the camera here, and you can uh, get a good look at them. The um, they both stand okay on their own. They're not the the uh, sturdiest standers. I think a, a few taps on the table, and they would probably fall over. But they both are wearing flat bottom shoes, so that helps them to stand quite a bit. I think that's probably one of the main reasons why female superheroes should wear flat bottom shoes and as uh, so that their action figures will stand up. You know, I've got plenty of action figures with the stiletto heels and they will barely stand at all. But both of these are okay. Aesthetically, these are pretty good looking figures, but there's a little bit of disappointment there because I think the um, costumes were probably the best part of the movie, the costume designs. And while these figures do have all of the details molded in, see if you can see here, there's lots and lots of detail molded in where it lacks is in the colors so you can see here Makari's suit is just uh, kind of a dark red and silver similarly with Cersei's suit here it is a nice metallic green and silver and that's it there aren't any other shades of any other colors in there so if you look at the costumes from the movie there's kind of moves through different shades of green in her suit and different shades of red in Makari's suit and there's also some tiny gold lines in a lot of the places so I think the colors disappoint a little bit. The molded detail doesn't disappoint at all. It's got it all in there all of those geometric shapes and everything but I think with just a few more shades of colors these uh, would have looked a lot better. So the face sculpts they're not bad. They're painted really well of course um, you know eyes in the right place, lips and all that I think both faces actually look more like the actresses than uh, the pictures on the box. So I think uh, Makari's actress is her name, Lauren Ridloff, I think is her name. If I get that wrong, you can uh, let me know in the comments. But looking at pictures of her, I think the uh, figure's nose is a little too pointy. But otherwise, that, the, other than that, the uh, face sculpt's not that bad. And the hair on both of these figures is sculpted well with a lot of detail. The problem is there's no shading on either of them. So both of them, their hair is just plain black. There goes my backdrop. Okay, I never did trust that backdrop, but uh, we'll see if it falls over again here. 
before too long. But as I was saying, on both of these figures, their hair is just plain black. There's no shading or anything. So I think they've, they had something, you know, to bring out the sculpted detail because the hair is sculpted pretty well on both of them. So you can see the Cersei face sculpt. I think that's probably the better one. I think it looks, uh, you know, somewhat like Gemma Chan. It looks more like her than the picture on the box. I'm not sure if, how well you can see it here, but um, she does have a spot of paint right on the lip. And initially you might think that's a mistake, but... Uh, Looking at pictures from the movie, she does actually have a mole right there. So it's not a mistake. It's just attention to detail. Now, of course, the hair on this one is sculpt, sculpted kind of in a windswept sort of way. But you can see there no no shading or anything really on their hair. It's just plain black. So it uh, they could have brought that out quite a bit. But otherwise, these uh, you know look pretty good. You can tell side by side here that they don't have the same body, which you know would be the... Uh, lazy and typical way of doing it right you'd have you know all the women characters in the line with the same body but they don't and so that's good and in fact you look closely at the arms the legs you'll see it's totally different geometric shapes um on the on those parts so we're going to look at articulation next and i'm going to suspect that makari is going to be better than cersei the, the couple reasons for one her hair is more up and kind of out of the way of her shoulders a little bit and the other thing, too, if you look right here, you can see the uh, sort of skirt piece is a lot higher cut on her than it is on Cersei. So I'm going to reckon that the articulation is going to be better, but they'll be pretty much the same. And both of these seem like they're going to have really good articulation. So we'll take a look here. So we'll start with, with Makari. And so she's got one piece of hair that kind of goes over her shoulder, and that can hinder you a little bit. But that will just kind of move out of the way if you want to move it back there. So as far as the head, she can't really look up at all because of her hair. So we don't really get looking up any. Um, she can look down pretty good, left and right, all the way around. And some little bit of side to side. So pretty good motion there. Actually probably better side that way. Like I said, this one little piece of hair could maybe get in the way, but it's flexible. So you can move it out of the way there. Again, not really looking up at all. Arms seem to be pretty good, so they can go up that far so that's really good of course all the way around at the shoulder nothing at the bicep so no turning well she's got a swivel at the elbow so she can turn at the elbow but not at the bicep elbows are really good so you see there uh, elbows all the way up there well past 90 degrees wrists on the hinge there and can of course turn around like that so there Waist is going to be limited a little bit, I think, because of these kind of skirt pieces here. They do have a joint here at the chest, which doesn't do too much. Goes forward that much. Goes back quite a bit, so you can lean back quite a lot there. And I'm sure there's some joint in here at the waist, but we can't really get much going with it. We can go side to side there at the chest. And we'll try to, we can twist at the chest. But nothing really at the waist there okay so as i mentioned makari's uh outfit is cut up higher here so she's going to get more motion in the hips so legs can go out about that far so not doing the full splits but she can go forward basically all the way so that's good we might hopefully get her into some running poses has a swivel at the thigh here one thing i don't like and it's a necessary thing though but it happens on all figures but I don't like when they have some kind of pattern on the suit that is broken by one of the joints and so you can see the silver there you know is out of place if you twist her leg so I probably in posing will try to avoid that but that's otherwise good the knee is very good so you see double knee gets you all the way there and the foot can go about that far in and swivel out quite a bit so we've got some good ankle there and hinge up and down no toes on these but that's okay you almost re we never use any toe articulation so the articulation is pretty good here we might be able to get some running poses something like that I doubt I mean she won't stand up in a running pose but we'll try more of that later 
So if we look at Cersei here, it's going to be very similar, I think, but um, possibly a little bit worse, I think, because her hair, yeah, is really going to limit her here again. She can't look up at all. She can look down quite a bit, which is good. Of course, turn side to side. Her hair doesn't really limit her turning side to side that much, but it does limit the tilt. She can tilt more that way than this way because of kind of the windswept hair design. It's otherwise not too bad. Chest, about the same, that far forward. Good lean back, pretty good side to side. All right. Nothing in the, not gonna get anything in the waist, right, because of her design of her outfit. Arms again, about the same, they go up that far. I think Makari's went up a little farther maybe. All the way around, twist at the elbow. That far bend at the elbow, so pretty good there. Hands, of course, on the hinge, and spin around like that. Okay, legs, so let's see here. So she can get the leg most of the way forward, but you'll see it bends, starting to bend this piece quite a bit. So because of that, she's a little more limited. Legs out about that far, so that's about the same there. Again, the knee, really good knee on these figures. And the foot. Looks like she, hers don't really go in too much or out side to side that much. So I think Makari had a little better there. And up like that, down like that, no toes. So I think Makari had a little bit better feet. Otherwise though, their articulation is about the same. We can probably get some pretty decent poses out of them there if they'd stand up. All right, we'll take a look at accessories next. Okay, so for accessories, Makari comes with three alternate hands, though only two of them are for her, if it will focus here. There we go. So she's got a right and left fist hand that are her alternate hands. There's the, the right. There's the left. They're okay. They're just plain fists. And then her third alternate hand is quite a bit bigger. We might see if it'll fit on her here in just a second here. This will focus, maybe, maybe it will, there it goes. All right, so this one's a little bit bigger because this is for the Build-A-Figure part that she comes with. So she comes with Gilgamesh's right arm is the Build-A-Figure part. So that alternate fist hand is actually for him. And so I don't know, I doubt very much that I'll be getting the full series in order to do the Build-A-Figure um, unless they drop even deeper on clearance. At GameStop, but we'll see what happens. So anyway, that's the only accessories Makari comes with, which is a little disappointing, but um, it also, I can't think of really what she could come with. I mean, in the movie, of course, she uh, has her super speed power. She doesn't really uh, generate lightning like uh, the Flash does or anything, so you couldn't have any lightning effects. At least I don't remember her doing that. So I can't really think of what accessories she could come with, um, but let's see if we can switch out the hands here. Yep, so that pops out pretty easy, and we'll put on the fist hand. So, very simple. Very simple to switch out the hands there. They'll have the same articulation. Okay, let's try the Gilgamesh hand just for fun. Looks like the pegs are... No, it looks like the peg is actually bigger. Yeah, it looks like the peg is actually bigger, so I won't put that one on. I don't want to uh, mess it up there. So, But anyway, that's all that she comes with. So the alternate fist hands and the Gilgamesh build a figure part and his fist hand. So let's see what Cersei comes with. Okay, so Cersei also comes with two alternate hands. She's got another sort of posed hand here. And she's got a right fist. So that's basically it. Um, she comes with this two open hands on the figure. So you can change out the fist or the other pose there. You'll notice that neither of these figures come with holding hands. Which, um, like I said, it kind of makes sense. I can't think of any accessories Cersei could come with either. I mean, her power is sort of nebulously defined in the movie. So... Um, I'm not sure what kind of things 
she could uh, come with. She doesn't really use any weapons or anything. Neither of them do. The only other accessory she has then is uh, Gilgamesh's left leg. So a left leg there. So I don't know. It looks okay. If you get the whole set, you can build that figure there. So that's it for accessories. So again, they don't come with very much of anything, but it's hard to think of what they could come with anyway, based on what they did in the movie. Anyway, next up, we'll have some size comparisons. Okay, so for some size comparisons, here they are with the uh, Marvel Legends Win Wu figure there. So uh, he's just a little bit taller than both of them, but they should be pretty good in scale. All the Marvel Legends, of course, in scale with each other. Excuse me, I was coughing on something for a second there. Um, but as I was saying, all the Marvel Legends figures are right, pretty much in scale with each other, so they're uh, you know going to work okay with all of those. Um, I don't know. As you can see here, I think the uh, likeness on Win Wu is better. You know, looks more like the actor than these, but these aren't bad. Um, but again, the likeness on the figure is better than the likeness on the box. Let me know in the comments if anybody else has noticed that. Here they are with the typical. 12 ounce beverage 12 ounce beverage can so you can see how they look there and of course here they are as always with John Cena right and so no one's in scale with him if he's gonna stand up there there he goes you can see how he compares with those all right so these figures I think uh, they're not bad I like them their articulation is really good on them hopefully we can get some good poses out of them so that's what I'm going to do next is do some uh, some uh, dynamic poses and thank you for watching this check your own local GameStop for deep clearance these figures on deep clearance and I'll see you in the next review